effective way of regulating or modulating emotions that is very consistent with the way I've helped people treat obsessive compulsive disorder, which is also very consistent with mindfulness, is using techniques that basically um, put labels on the emotion so that, that you, you, you basically learn how to identify using language-based labels, like I'm feeling worried, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling agitated, and then place those labels in a constructive narrative um, that helps you control how intensely the emotion affects you. I have developed a four-step method, and I definitely developed this four-step method to help people with obsessive compulsive disorder. But in my book, You Are Not Your Brain, I've expanded this method considerably to make it very applicable to any person. And what, what we want to do is help people construct true narratives, true narratives that um, take their long-term goals and um, values into account and puts, and the way you do that is by getting in touch with what I call your wise advocate. And, and your wise advocate is really just another term for mindfulness. Honestly, the term mindfulness became so overused in pop psychology that some of its meaning was kind of being washed away the way things do happen when things end up in pop psychology. And so I thought it was time to try another term. And so together with my co-author, uh, Rebecca Gladding, in the book, um, You Are Not Your Brain, we came up with the term wise advocate as a proxy term for mindfulness. And wise advocate is an inner guy that you can talk with, you can have an inner dialogue, create constructive narratives based on your capacity to label your, the way you're feeling and in that process control your emotional responses and make them more adaptive. And that's, that's a simple way of putting it, but it's a simple way of putting it that hopefully you'll be able to see certainly has the potential for having a greater spiritual um, and even divine significance.